Hey everyone, this is Span, and in this video I'll be going over some really cool things Daggerfall Unity can do that people new to it might not realize. If you like Daggerfall content like this, consider subscribing to my channel or to my Patreon in the video description below. I try to upload a few Daggerfall videos every week, and with that out of the way, let's get into it. First thing we'll cover is the Daggerfall Unity main menu and some setting recommendations that I have for newer players. Um, when you load up the game for the first time, this is the menu you should see. And these are some pretty basic options here. Um, you could just set these to your preference. If you want nudity on, that's in the original vanilla Daggerfall. Um, swapped health and fatigue is the default option to match what later Elder Scrolls titles did. And if you're using a controller. The first thing you might not be aware of is the weapon swing mode. So in vanilla Daggerfall, you hold the right click and then you move your mouse in certain directions and you get different attack animations. So for example, if I'm holding the right click down and I move my mouse up, I'll get a stabbing attack. If I hold my right click down and move my mouse from the left to the right, I'll get a swing, a horizontal swing that goes from left to right. But if you don't like that, you can choose an option to just click or an option to just hold. Once you're happy with your main menu settings here, let's click on advanced settings. Uh, the first thing you'll see in the top left here is start in dungeon should be clicked on. Um, in the beginning of Daggerfall, every character you make will start in a dungeon called Privateer's Hold. This kind of acts as a tutorial dungeon, and if you're new to the game, I definitely recommend keeping this on. Um, you get some good starting gear, you'll Get some skills up so you might be level two or level three by the time you exit the dungeon and it acts as a good introduction a good tutorial to see how your build functions and to get used to the combat system the next one here is smaller dungeons so if you're new to daggerfall you might not know that daggerfall's dungeons are gigantic they're absolutely huge um, some people are going to love that and some people are not going to like that so much I think as a newer player, I would recommend turning this on. And the reason I say that is because if you are planning to do the main quest, those dungeons are not randomized and they're also very, very big. So you get enough of a taste of the, you know, gigantic dungeon sizes of Daggerfall. And when you do the random side dungeons, the ones that are for, you know, mage guild quests or the fighters guild quest um, dungeons like that if they're smaller i think it won't be as grating on you as a new player um, or as intimidating so i recommend keeping this on for newer players um, other than that everything else here you can keep on default if you like the only other thing i'd mention is on default this is off um, this is an option to enable bow drawback while holding uh, the right mouse, and then you can release to fire. So usually in Daggerfall Vanilla, you would just you couldn't hold the bow; you just press it once. There'll be a draw and a release automatically. Another thing is toggling sneak, uh, so you don't have to hold it. That also might be uh, a preference for you. Looking over here, there's nothing too important in the interface. Um, you can fool around with some of these options, maybe buff icons layout. In the classic, it's the top left, and they're pretty large. So you could change that if you want, whatever your preference is. For enhancements here, there's a couple things I do change. Uh, the default in Daggerfall Unity is enemy infighting is off. I like to have it on, and I think it's more immersive and kind of fits the vibe of different enemy tribes that this game has. Uh, so some enemies will belong to, you know, NPC tribes that are like knights or rogues, thieves, and they might not fight each other if they're part of the same in-group. So for example, if you enter Privateer's Hold and this is off, then a rat and an imp won't fight each other if they get into contact with each other. If you have it on, they will fight each other to the death. 
And this is nice in a couple ways. It does make the game easier, but it also has a nice sense of immersion and realism that not every enemy in dungeons is just there to fight you. So I think it works. I like it. I keep it on. Um, a couple other things you can do is the advanced climbing system. So you can climb walls in all directions and then jump off them and grab them. It actually feels really good. It's intuitive. I would recommend fooling around with it a little bit just in case you find a dungeon where there's like a super steep fall and you don't know exactly how to climb. Um, you can back up, you turn around from the fall, back up and you can rappel down. Things like that. Uh, you could practice a little bit. Um, other than that, I don't worry about too many other options here. Some of these are the quality of life things, like allowing magic items to be repaired. Um, I don't keep that on myself, but that's uh, another option there. For video, this is all just preference stuff, um, whatever works for you. And accessibility is the same. So that's a little brief overview of some of the recommendations I have for the settings. And now I want to transition into showing some other really cool things that Daggerfall Unity can do. This next feature I want to go over is one of my favorite additions to Daggerfall Unity. If you bring up your save here, go to load game, in the top right corner you'll see a save number. You'll notice that each save has a different number here. And you can click on this, and it will bring up your file explorer. And from here, you can see all the information, all the data from this save file. And the coolest part about this is that you can click on the text document here. You'll see Save Data. And if you click on that, it will bring up all the information of this save file. And from here, you can make any sorts of edit to things like your guild reputations, to the skill you have in any of your primary, major, or minor skills, and all sorts of different things you can do. Um, so for example, if I, let's take a look at my character here. If I wanted to, If I wanted to change the face, let's say I'm not happy with the head that I chose for this character, I could save here, load up, let's say this save, pause, select back here, open up the save again, And from here, let's pull it up for you guys so you can see too. Maybe I'll control F and just look for face. So you can see here comes the face index. Um, right now I have number five. I'll change this to number one, save, close it out. And then we'll load up this file. Remember I was editing save 95. I loaded up an old one just to make sure I wasn't in the middle of playing when I edited the one I wanted to edit. So we'll go back to loading this and let's take a look at my character's face. Completely changed to the number one setting now. And that's just one example of the really, really awesome things that this edition allows players to do. Another feature in Daggerfall Unity that I love is having a bunch of useful console commands. Um, I'm a big advocate for players cultivating the type of role-playing experience and game experience that they desire and not necessarily adhering to any restrictions or adhering to some idea that there's a right way to play. And so in the spirit of that, console commands really give the player a ton of freedom to adjust things in real time. I want to show a few examples of some console commands that I think you might find really useful. First up is the console command called TGM. This is toggle god mode. When you put this in, you'll see god mode enabled true. And for those that don't know, um, 
You might already be familiar with the console command in other uh, Elder Scrolls titles like Skyrim, but if you aren't, it you have to press the tilde button. This is the button to the left of the number one. So you press that and then you type in what you want. So right now we have God Mode enabled, which means that I'm invulnerable and I'll regain all my stamina, all my health, and all my mana if it ever depletes. So you can see, for example, if I bring up the fireball spell and I try to launch it, I can't lose any mana. And it'll work the same way with health if you get hurt and stamina when attacking. And when you're ready to turn it off, just type in TGM again and it'll say God Mode Enabled False. Another really cool console command is Levitate On. This is super useful for getting around, uh, for exploring, sometimes just for some nice scenic views of the beautiful Daggerfall, or for screenshots as well. But it can be useful in dungeons for um, escaping scary areas or uh, traversing down really steep falls. Um, it's got practical use as well. And when you're ready to turn this off, just type in levitate off and it's back to normal. Next up, I want to show a couple other console commands that can be really useful in dungeons. Okay, so we've arrived at a dungeon here. And I want to show a couple interesting console commands. So here's the entrance. And let's get a little bit away from the entrance here. Let's say we clear this out. And we're ready to return, but we are lost, for example. You can bring up the console, type in Tele to exit, and you'll appear right at the entrance again. This can be super useful in Daggerfall because, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, some of these dungeons are absolutely gigantic. Sometimes paths lead you to ways that you can't return from, so having this option is very, very useful. There's also another one called Tele to Q Marker. It'll show me right here that it could not find Quest Marker at current location, but if I had an active quest in this dungeon, let's say it was a quest for the Fighter's Guild to find a Lost Sword. If I typed in Tele to Q Marker, I would automatically teleport in the dungeon to the quest item. I could pick it up and complete the quest. So those are probably the two most useful console commands to be used in dungeons, um, other than some of the more generalized ones like TGM for God Mode. And I think that covers all the basics that I wanted to go over for Daggerfall Unity. If you're someone that's considering trying out Daggerfall Unity for the first time, or if you recently started a playthrough, I hope you found this video useful, and I hope I'll see you in my future Daggerfall videos. Take care, everyone.